Well, hello there, friends, and if you're new here, welcome. So for today's video, I thought I would show you how to turn on the new widescreen feature in uh, version 43 of the uh, Meta software update. Um, however, I would not recommend doing it yet, and I will show you why in just a minute. Um, so first, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you go in and check to make sure that you are on version 43. You just go into your settings. And then go into system, software update. And you're gonna be looking for this version right here. Make sure that you are on version 43. Now they are rolling this out. So you might not have this quite yet, um, but you might. So what you can do now is go back to the main menu here and you're gonna go into experimental. Once you're in experimental, you're gonna scroll down and look for advanced camera settings. Flip the little switch on and then say continue on there. Now that you have advanced camera settings turned on, you can go back to this main page here, go back up to system again, scroll down and you're going to be looking for camera. There's camera right there. And here is where you can change your camera size or your uh, 1080p and all that good stuff. So you have your right eye or you have your left eye. Okay. You're going to go down here to aspect ratio. You can change this from square to landscape 1920 by 1080, which is what you would want to do if you want a widescreen presentation. And they even have portrait 1920 by or 1080 by 1920, which I don't know who would want to do that, but it's in there. Now I am going to show you what it looks like when you go into 1920 by 1080. You can all end and I'll show you why. Oops, I went back too far. And I will show you why I don't recommend just doing it yet. Let me go back to the camera. And so I'm gonna start off with my right eye. I'm gonna switch it to 1920 by 1080. And I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it at 24 frames per second. You can bump it up to 36 frames per second. Um, it could reduce some performance, but hey, whatever. Um, you're also going to have the option for video compression quality, your bit rate there. Um, so you can bump that up. I would say probably around 10 uh, would be fine, 10 or 15. Or you could leave it at 5. The higher that you make that, the larger your file size. My files are pretty big. I actually have mine maxed out. Um, I do mine through SideQuest. So right now where you're seeing this, um, this is right. This is through SideQuest right now. These are SideQuest settings that I've changed. So this is how it looks through SideQuest. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset my headset and do the 1080, 1920 by 1080, and I'll bump that up to like 10, just so you can see. Or I might leave it at five and show you the different five, 10, 15, 20, just so you can see the differences. All right. So I'll be right back after I've reset my headset and changed my settings. Okay, I'm back. Now I'm going to take you through my camera settings. So right now I have it set to right eye. I have landscape 1920 by 1080. So it's a widescreen format. 24 frames per second and 5 megabits per second. All right. So this is what it looks like at those settings. Now take a look to the left over here. Do you notice the black line? Yep. There's a black line on the left side when you're using the right eye. When you use the left eye, there's a black line on the right side. That's why I don't recommend using these settings quite yet. You can if you don't have the ability to use SideQuest um, and you can get your widescreen. You know, it's it's not terrible. You, you get the black line in it. I mean, it's not a huge deal for some people. Um, I personally don't won't record in it until they have that fixed. Um, but that's what happens right now if you record while it's still in its um, testing phases. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to change this to 10 megabits per second, and I'll show you what it looks like at 10 megabits per second, and I'll work my way through 20. So you can see the differences on what they look like with the different changes. All right. All right. Okay, so I've changed it now to the left eye, so you can see what happens with the left eye. I've left it at 1920 by 1080, left it at 24 frames per second, and I've changed it to 10 megabits per second. Now, 
look over here to the right side. You see the black line on the right side? Again, if you're using the left eye, you'll get a black line on the right. The right side, you'll get a black line on the left. All right, so now I'm gonna change this to 15 megabits per second so you can see what the difference is between 10 and 15. Okay, so this is 15 megabits per second. You can see what it looks like. Does it look any better? You can make this up this decision yourself to see if you want to use 15 megabits per second or if you want to just leave it at 5 or 10. Or now I'll jump it up to 20 megabits per second and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so here's 20 megabits per second. What do you think? Do you think it's worth the extra space it's going to take on your hard drive to jump it up to 20 meg megabits per second? It's totally up to you. I personally do. Um, like I said, I, I like to max out all my settings, so uh, anytime I do my recordings, I max them all out. Um, but I do use SideQuest, so... But once this is working in the headset and we don't get the black lines like this over here on the right side, um, then I will probably use the... Uh, headset features um, just because it makes it easier because with using SideQuest anytime you restart your headset you have to go back in and change those settings back and sometimes I forget and then I have to zoom in using uh, software instead so but there you go hopefully you found this video helpful and if you did make sure you give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already so you can see more tips and tricks like this in the future thanks for watching have a great day bye bye